I'm here with Coach Mike Young after the win against Sanford tonight. Coach, incredible game. What are you feeding these guys? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeding them anything <laughs> special. Um, they're really good players, and they spend an incredible amount of time in here uh, for moments like that, uh, for games and for, mo you know, for opportunities uh, like, uh, like this one. Uh, Stormer made a, an unbelievable play and they got the thing in the basket. Fletch, uh, I didn't like how he played in the first half. He comes back in the second, he looks like Fletch again. Um, Keve Aluma may have won that game for us with his activity on the glass. Just, just a warrior when that thing comes off the iron. Nobody can keep him. Very few have been able to keep him off, uh, off the offensive glass, and he kept a couple of balls alive for us tonight that um, you know, helped us win. We didn't play our best, and Sanford had a lot to do with that. And I tip my cap to their coaching staff, their players. Um, uh, they had us turned inside out. We couldn't stop them. We still haven't stopped them. That frustrates the fire out of me. Uh, but um, we found a way to win, and uh, the last time I checked, that's, uh, that's what they want you to do. So uh, feel good about that. Still undefeated in conference. Where do we go from here? Well, we stay here, thank goodness, for one more on Saturday against uh, you know a good Chattanooga team that was 5-2 and two coming into tonight. And I just want to see our team play better basketball. I want to see us play Wofford basketball. I um, didn't think we were very connected tonight. I didn't think we handled some things on either end of the floor very well. Um, but, you know, You've heard me say it many times. I, I, I have a very, very, very good basketball team. Um, we didn't play our best. We found a way to win. Uh, we uh, have an opportunity to, you know, to tee it up and go again on, uh, on Saturday. We look forward to that. And it's as close as it can get. What is the advantage of having a game this close at home? Oh, it's, it's huge. You know, I mean, that just... The luxury of old people. Cameron's played a lot of ball. Fletch, Nathan Hoover. You know, Stormer's not a young guy anymore. He's played a lot of basketball around here. And the poise and, you know, the understanding of knowing what it takes in those situations to prevail, to come out the other side and, uh, and win is invaluable. And, um, you know, I'm the benefactor of that. And I am, uh, I'm thankful. We'll see you Saturday, Coach. I look forward to it. Thanks. I'm here with sophomore Storm Murphy. Storm, what a game. Second consecutive game you've shot the winning shot. What is that like? Yeah, um, it, it's fun. Um, it's exciting. But, my goodness, that was a, that was a rough game. Um, I just credit all to my teammates um, making huge plays. Kevin had some huge rebounds. Fletcher hit big shots to keep us in that game. Um, and it just came down to the wire. But thankfully, thankfully God healed me to play this game a little bit. I was a little sick um, and uh, presented the opportunity where I was open on the left side and uh, had an open look. So thankfully went in. Yeah, you didn't even start the second half. How did you overcome that? Yeah, um, I was uh, in the back getting some fluids. Um, I was a little lightheaded first half. Um, the, the doctors tried to help me out with that. Um, and then right away, I just came running back in um, just to just jump into the second half. So it was a little different, a little weird. Um, but... Had to come in and, and, and try my best.